today I'm going to give you four tips on how you can reduce anxiety. Welcome back to another Johnny Pardo video on the self-esteem and confidence mindset. So anxiety. This is something I've dealt with a little bit over my life in different periods and I speak to various clients who I've coached and I've helped many friends out who have suffered with different situations with anxiety. But for me personally, before I go into the four tips, I just wanted to share my story. So when I was in school at about the age of 13, year eight, roughly that age anyway, I had a form of derealization where I'd go into le lessons and suddenly it felt like I wasn't in the room, I'd be panicking, I'd be like pinching myself, it was horrible and I had these real big bouts of anxiety when I fear going into school at all actually. And the parents, the teachers, they just thought I was overreacting from being tired or something and mental health wasn't a really strong thing talked about back in then, early 2000s, although obviously some people would have been aware of it. And then as I went into university, I had various bits of anxiety attacks in terms of worrying about what other people were thinking and just general life, getting very confused on kind of things and really understanding who I was as a person. And that was caused a lot by alcohol, but then as I sort of went through my 20s, I sort of experienced it a bit more and I get very anxious about going into work. I remember a couple of times I called in sick because I was that anxious about something going wrong or what someone would say. It's it caring about what other people thought a lot when I used to struggle with the self-esteem and confidence struggles. And even when I got a really great job with a great company in 2018, I got very anxious about things then and I'd get back into my sort of panic attacks. But then as I got into the whole well-being, personal growth space, and then eventually transitioned to this self-esteem and confidence area specifically, I started applying and learning things. And there were certain things I learned around anxiety and lifting up my mood when I felt down, or I didn't feel as particularly on top, didn't like myself as much. So today, now what I'm gonna go into it's my four tips into how you can reduce your anxiety. Okay, so number one is prime yourself at the start of your day. The way you start your day is the way the rest of your day will follow. So if you wake up and you get on your phone straight away and then you start drinking loads and loads of coffee, now I love a good coffee, so don't get me wrong, and then you start doing stuff like listening to rubbish or watching too much of the news or something like that, and all these negative triggers are coming into you, you're more likely to feel anxious. So you've got to prime yourself. You've got to start with things like saying powerful incantations. And now an incantation is when it's like an affirmation, you're saying words that empower you. So things like, I am enough, I am wonderful, and I am spectacular. I've said that so many times, it's just second nature. I am unstoppable, things like that. Hopefully I didn't crack the mic by saying that. The neighbors are used to hearing that, by the way. Um, I'm not sure how thin these walls are. But yeah, anyway, incantations are saying those phrases with just more meaning. So think about what powerful phrases would be to you and then start saying them every day. Start doing things like moving, get moving, exercising in the morning. Start eating right. Maybe you want to fast. Think what's gonna get you off to your best start of your day. Maybe you stay away from social media from the start of the day. You've really got to prime. What I mean by prime is getting yourself into that best state to start the day. My second one is to plan, but with flexibility. Now, what I mean by that is, if you go into a day unprepared, I'm a big planner, me, but I know we've got to get this balance of going with the flow, enjoying life, but we do have to plan to some extent, because if we get to certain days and we're overwhelmed, there's too much on, and we haven't planned, we have to react, that's gonna make us more anxious. 
So I'm all for living in the present tense, I agree. The present tense is the greatest place to be because we're gonna be able to be, make the most impact rather, and we're going to, that's what we're in control of, in the present tense, ourselves in the present tense. But if we don't plan our days and kind of encounter for what it roughly might look like, we could get very overwhelmed. So plan, but with flexibility. Now, my second, my third point even, is look after your body. And I was kind of touching on it a little bit in the priming in the morning, but what I mean by this is really listening to your body, making sure you're getting enough sleep, making sure you're drinking enough water, making sure you're not over having too much caffeine, even though it can be great, love a soy latte B or a coffee, and also exercising, because exercise produces endorphins. So the more and more you can do to look after your body, the less anxious you'll be. And things like when, when I've been in anxious situations, I've noticed myself having more sugar and that actually makes you worse because sugar triggers off more anxiety. So really pay attention to what you're eating and how it's making you feel. I recently noticed that when I had too much, well, a mixture of things in my cereal, that, well, when I was having sugary cereals back in the summer, for example, I was gonna go into my oats then, but they're not so bad, so that was a bad example. But when I was back in the summer and I was having these these muesli, uh, things like that, but it was quite the high sugar stuff, that would, I feel really good when I had it, but like a minute or two later, suddenly my heart starts getting quicker, I'm a little bit more worried, a little bit more cautious. Not like I used to be, because this year I've really come along and developed my well-being and my resilience and everything like that, but I could notice the change in certainly how I feel when I have less sugar than when I have more. So just pay attention to what you're eating, just to recap that point, because I went on one a bit there, what you're eating, what you're drinking, and your exercise, because that's gonna help with your anxiety as well. And then the fourth point is listening to the right information. So I touched on at the start, if you go in and start listening to the news, start scrolling your phone on social media, maybe not so good, but if you can listen to things like uplifting podcasts, someone who really inspires you, they're really calm and cool, that's probably gonna rub off on you, especially if you're listening to it every other day or every day, or fairly regularly, a few times a week. You're probably going to get that voice, get that understanding, that kind of way of thinking into your head a little bit more. So that's my fourth way. Okay, so those are my top four tips on how to reduce anxiety from my own experience from talking to other people and applying things that I've learned. So to recap, number one, we talked about priming every day, setting up your day, make yourself feel good. It might be incantations, it might be fasting, it might be eating the right meals, it might be having a break from all that electronics in the start of the day. Plan, but with flexibility. Make sure you've got a plan to make sure you don't get overwhelmed, but allow yourself that room for maneuver and that breathing space as well. And then looking after your body, really, really important. We talked about exercise, nutrition, well, those two things. Just looking after your body and listening to it and also making sure you've got enough sleep. And listening to uplifting information. So making sure you're listening to uplifting podcasts, not things that are gonna make you feel down, not things that are gonna make you feel anxious. Listen to the people who are calm and collected and really inspire and motivate you. So that's what I've got for you today. I hope this has been valuable to you and it can help you manage your anxiety or if, you, if it's not you, someone you know, know, how it can help with their anxiety as well. So I hope you appreciate this video. If you have, please share it with your friends and family so I can reach more people. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Until next time, I will catch you later.